The tournament is set for the weekend of November 3 and 4, with the first 100 players to register set a battle for top honors at the Lusignan Golf Course. Players are expected from Guyana, North America and the Caribbean, and according to Public Relations Officer of the Lusignan Golf Club, Guy Griffith, a highly competitive tournament is anticipated. Griffith reasoned that local players have been very active in 2018, making the race for the Ghana Open title an intense one, since foreign golfers will also have their eyes on the prize. It's been very, very refreshing to see men come out and do their best to improve because their t eyes are on the Guyana Open 2018. And it's significant. It's an international tournament, once per year. It's a two-day tournament. Uh, it looks like next year it'll have to be four days. We'll have to do so many, so many entrants from so many countries as well as locally that we may have to go to two two-day periods in order to have all the persons interested compete. Apart from the on-field rivalry among the 100 golfers, over 85 companies would be displaying their products and services during the two-day activity. Eight-time champion Avinash Basar is looking to make a defense of his title, while two-time winner Joanne Dio will be looking to topple a large field of females, including defending champion and eight-time winner Christine Sukram. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avinash Ramzan.